Yo, I have a Salamence? I forgot about that. All right, so we have a weird team. Oh, we have the, everything's named after a hot dog or something that goes with a hot dog. Oh, this doesn't have a nickname because this was a gift Pokemon. So it's just Kenya. So it doesn't really fit the hot dog theme. Oh, I have to go to Olivine. I remember now. <laughs> See, sometimes I play these games and I start playing again after not playing for a couple of days. And I'm like, where do I go? You can go where you want. This is Johto. That's so true, actually. And my dog is scared because it's starting to rain and thunder a little bit outside already. At least I think it's thunder. It might be fireworks. But then again, why is somebody putting fireworks today? Scare away the hurricane. Yo, I like that. Like Floridian shooting guns at the hurricanes. Wasn't that a thing? Didn't, didn't, wasn't that actually a thing where people wanted to like nuke a hurricane? Like, like when, when there was a hurricane in Puerto Rico like a year or two ago. Didn't somebody literally say, let's nuke it? I'm not even joking. They tried dropping a nuke on a hurricane. How? Like, wh like, wouldn't the nuke cause more damage than a hurricane? I don't know, but America wants to do a lot of things. That is true. Apparently there were signs back in the day where it could work, but it's way ahead of what we're capable of at the moment. You could nuke a hurricane in the future. You Americans confuse us Canadians sometimes. Hey man, Canadians just discount Americans. And I'll stand by that claim. Why am I forgetting how to play this game? How do I get across? Do I have surf? Oh, I have surf. Oh, that's how. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, Gen 2? Possibly a bug type. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. I meant jump off. Oh, it's me! Jumping jump off 97! Was that my name? I don't remember, but that video, I, I remember I uploaded a video on the extra channel just titled, I am jumping jump off, I think it was 47 was the number. And that was, that video was the top performing video when it came out. Dude, the extra channel, I just, I just throw anything up there. Like the titles and thumbnails make no sense. And, and most of them work. All right. So I'm not adding this to the team. Uh, I guess Tater Tots is the name too. Yo, we can steal that, uh, that Shuckle too. That Shuckle is going to be randomized. Yo, speaking of evolutions, did you guys see the new Evolving Sky set for the TCG? I'm like super into Pokemon cards again. Uh, not as a collector. Well, obviously I like collecting cards. I get cards every now and then. But like, I actually want to play the game again. And the new, some of the new evolutions are actually good, like competitively, but since they're evolutions, they'll be expensive. Yeah, this is Hisui. That's so weird to me how they just changed the region's name. You know, there's a whole library in Sinnoh, in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and they never addressed Hisui in that. So how are they just going to be like, oh, by the way, it's Hisui now. It's like in Riverdale when they had that flashback to when their parents were in high school and it was 1996. And then they had another flashback a season later and it was 1988, but they were in high school. It's like, how were they in high school in 1988 and 1996? That doesn't make any sense. You should know Riverdale makes no sense if you're still watching it. Yeah, I watch Riverdale unironically. We've talked about this before. It was kind of a meme. When I used to stream a, like a lot, like two years ago, I would never stream Wednesdays because Riverdale was on on Wednesdays and chat knew. So I would stream on a Wednesday and people would be like, wait, is Riverdale on? But now it's back for season five or six. And it's basically, it's just a show about drama that makes no sense. Well, I used to like the Archie comics as a kid, which is what Riverdale is based off. That's why I started watching. And season one of Riverdale is genuinely good. It's like a murder mystery if you're into that. Fantastic. Season two is a little weird. Uh, the second part of season three is good, I think. I think the rest is kind of bad, but I'm just so committed at this point, bro. Like, I'm, I, I've watched four and a half seasons. I'm not going to stop, okay? But it also makes no sense because they did a time skip. So before the time skip, they addressed that it was it was 2020 or 2019. And then they skipped seven years, but it's not 2026. Like, uh, like they skipped seven years, but it's still the same year. You know, that Shuckle was a Sneasel. How does Sneasel evolve? Is it a trade? Because if it's a trade, then it's going to be like level 40 with the, the way this game is. Because I have it set to force evolve trade evolutions. Anyway, let's battle Chuck. And let's not die. Because dying is not Pog. Yo! Honor battle! Unexpected honor battle! I'm gonna Toxic. Alright, we should win this honor battle, gamers. Oh, and then a Grand Bull. That's it? That's your two Pokemon? Okay, after like five turns of stalling out Moonlights, we have defeated Chuck. Three months between main series Pokemon games is gonna be wild. Yeah, like, I feel like if they announced, if they were like, if they just announced Brilliant Diamond, right? And like said nothing about Legends Arceus. And then like in like December, they're like, oh, by the way, Legends Arceus coming out next fall. That would be cool. Pokemon content creation is going to eat. Uh, to an extent. I mean, whenever there's a new game, everyone's like, yo, I'm going to do my Let's Play and it's going to bang. It, it never does. Sorry. Unless you're already like huge. 
Let's Plays don't bang in 2021. They don't, and yet, and yet people still do them and wonder why their channel's not doing well. It's like, whoa, dude, why is my YouTube channel not doing well when I'm making the same exact content I was in 2014 now with no improvement whatsoever? Like, what could it be? Hmm. Yeah, people don't really just do, like, simple Let's Plays, right? Anymore, for Pokemon games. I'm talking where they just sit down, hey guys, welcome to episode 14 of Pokemon, and they just play for 20 minutes and that's it. Nobody does that, right? Nothing worse than seeing your favorite YouTubers flop hard. It can't be me, right chat? Not Except for that tier list video. We don't talk about that one. That was a good video though, I think. I think the problem with it is people saw tier list and thought it was just generic tier list Andy sitting on tiermaker.com, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was a good video. I just don't think I presented it the right way. I've been, I've been solo using mustard for so long. I didn't realize it was this high of level compared to the rest of the team. I think that's, that's like another underlying issue, not issue, but another underlying thing with YouTube that people don't understand is that YouTube, like what people want to watch and like what does well changes. Cause I remember like, I used to watch a lot of let's plays too, like solo let's plays, no editing, whatever, like 2015, 2016. I feel like shortly after that time, that's when they really started to like, just die out. Uh, and then now, like if you see people do let's plays, it's, it's just a live stream. It's an edited live stream. That's what people do now. And I always hate when you see people who like, they blame the viewers for their videos not doing well. It's like, you guys gotta watch my videos, they're not doing well. It's like, they, they don't wanna see your videos. <laughs> like, sorry, <laughs> I hate to break it to you. A couple of people got really big through TikTok too. Like I know Purple Cliff, like that was his big thing, was TikTok. And then that of course translated to his Twitch and YouTube very successfully. But it's so funny when I see other people try to do that uh, and then it just doesn't do well. That's another thing too. A lot of people see somebody do something successfully and then try to copy it and then wonder why theirs doesn't work. Not realizing that the reason why the first one was successful is because it was new and original at the time. I've talked about this before too, but like back then on Twitch in like 2016 or even like 2017, uh, if you weren't shiny hunting, you weren't one of the big streamers. And that's just the way it was. Like it was just shiny hunters and like maybe like two people battling and then Peach doing his Nuzlocke. That was like it <laughs> on Twitch. Like there would be times of the day where you would go on Twitch, go to the Pokemon section and it would just be shiny hunters. Like the top 30 streams, just shiny hunters. I genuinely do not see many people shiny hunting anymore. But then again, I don't look at the Pokemon category much anymore because I don't watch Pokemon streams a lot. I think I think shiny hunting is a lot like what Let's Plays were on YouTube. Let's Plays on YouTube were the thing for a while. People loved watching it. That was like the main core Pokemon thing people made. Uh, and that was kind of the same with shiny hunting on Twitch. Where shiny hunting was like, if you were a Pokemon streamer, you shiny hunted. That's just what you did. If you're a Pokemon YouTuber, you did Let's Plays. That's what you did. But I think now, like, as Twitch has gotten bigger, as viewers had different interests and stuff like that, and people just got tired of it, uh, you see people doing other stuff. Because now I think the hardcore Nuzlocke stuff is the biggest stuff on Twitch, right? Because you have people like Peachal doing the hardcore Nuzlocke thing, uh, Wolf Glick's doing it, Shady Penguin's doing it, um, I'm doing it. I mean, it's not a hardcore Nuzlocke, but, you know, same effect, right? Wait, where did she go? Yo, look at me. I am the gym leader now. Dude, imagine if I was playing this game in Italian. I would be even more confused. I was thinking about that because we're, we're doing a Let's Go Hardcore Nuzlocke in Spanish. Dude, imagine if I was playing in Italian or French. I'd be even more lost. I want to do that. When in doubt, the answer is always drugs. You know, when you think about it, in this situation, I'm basically the, the middleman for a drug dealer. All right. I have the drugs. What is Ampharos though? Like, what animal is it? It's not a sheep, is it? Because, like, I know Flaffy and Mareep are sheep, obviously. Ampharos is a sheep? Bro, what kind of sheep looks like this? A naked sheep. Oh. That makes sense. What are you gonna have? Three Pokemon. Nidoking, 30. Doesn't she normally have two of the same Pokemon and then a Steelix? Like two Magnemites and a Steelix? All right, thankfully we just learned Psycho Cut. So this should be really good here. And the sun is up and we have Flame Wheel. That could possibly help us. Critical hit, thank you. Like, I don't remember very much about Generation 2 from when I was a kid. And I don't know why that is. Like, I remember a good chunk of Generation 1 because I was the first generation. The first generation I was introduced to as well. My sisters were into it. Everyone was into it back then. And Gen 3, I remember a lot because I was older. And I, that's when I got more into, like, the cards, getting a lot of cards. I watched the anime more in Generation 3. I don't remember very many episodes of the anime from Gen 2. I remember the Stantler episode and an episode where they go on a plane with a Kecleon. And it's a Gen 2 episode with a Kecleon. I don't really know why. And I don't have very many cards from the Gen 2 era either. The only hollows I have, I was looking at my binder today actually. The only the only hollows I have from the Gen 2 era are a Hitmon top that came with a starter deck and a Kingdra. That's it. And I have a decent bit of Gen 1 hollows and a lot of Gen 3 hollows. 
but like none for Gen 2. I remember one episode from the Sun and Moon anime that I've seen is Ash is battling against the Sandy Ghast and the Sandy Ghast eats him. Yo, we beat Jasmine though. Poggers. Dialga like barely walks. Dialga just sort of like jumps and shuffles its feet a bit. I don't know how to outro. So I guess that'll be for today, people. We made some progress, got two gym badges. Thanks for watching. If you're watching the extra channel, make sure to leave a like. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will... S oh, my OBS froze, so I can't end stream right now. All right, chat, we gotta wait a few seconds so I can end stream. Because my OBS froze again. And when my OBS freezes, I can't click any of the buttons. <laughs> Which is very concerning, because it's happened twice today. Uh, so I'm gonna be live for a few seconds more. And then I'm gonna end once my OBS unfreezes.